Coming up next, Babette Speece, one of this year's Academy Award foreign film nominees. And also coming up a little later in the show, they restored some of the original footage from the 1931 version of Frankenstein. It's from Denmark, and it's one of this year's Oscar nominees for Best Foreign Film. It's a small but wonderful treasure of a movie based on a short story by Isaac Dennison. That's the same woman whose life and writings provided the inspiration for the movie Out of Africa. The movie tells a simple but very deep story in a spare and elegant form. The story of two sisters in Denmark who devote their lives to prayer and helping the poor and who have always denied themselves any kind of material joy. All of the young men who once fell in love with them were rejected, but one day, many years later, one of those old suitors sends a French woman to them in Denmark. She's lost her family, this French woman. She's lost her livelihood, and now she simply seeks a humble job. Si vous ne prenez pas votre service, je n'ai plus qu'à mourir. Oh non, 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 non. Restez avec nous. That's Stefan Audran as Babette, and she serves the sisters faithfully and well until one day, 14 years later, she wins 10,000 francs in the French lottery and asks the two women for a favor. I will alain leave a first medeon for Preston's first day. Oh, I'm in case the Babette be as ready to hensick the key in me, da. I mean, sister, I have a thing for it. It's a very beautiful afternoon small to have a cup of coffee after. You know, Babette, we have always put our guests on the other side. I will live in France with you. In France with you? In France with you? The feast itself turns into a war between luxury and devout restraint. The religious guests obviously enjoy the delicious food, but they restrain their praise in an attempt to appear less worldly, all except for one of the guests, an old general, who was once in love with one of the sisters. The Herr Jublin is Demidov. <laughs> the Herr bestemmt Bumpty Co. 1860. Yeah, yeah. I think we for snow all day in the morning. And the feast in this movie and the reaction of the people who have that feast create one of the great sensuous sequences that I can remember in recent films. Babette's Feast is a very subtle movie which begins slowly but needs to begin slowly because in order to understand the secrets at the end of the movie, we first must understand the life that these sisters lead in Denmark and how different it is from the life that Babette herself once knew in Paris. Her gesture in preparing and serving that perfect meal is the same as an artist creating a perfect work of art, and that's exactly how she herself sees it. This is one of those movies that you need to think about and talk about afterwards because the full implications of everything that happens are only apparent after the whole story has been told. Well, it's an uh, interesting movie because it's called Babette's Feast. It starts out, as you say, very slowly, and you're wondering where is Babette, where is the feast, what's it all going to mean? And I think, of course, one of the things that does come across is opportunities uh, gained and uh, lost. Uh, the two sisters uh, lose opportunities. Babette uh, is withholding her chance to show what she can do in full flower, and it really represents um, I suppose uh, an encouragement mm -hmm. of, of whatever is inside of us to take advantage mm -hmm. of what we had. Surely the sisters would have been happier if they had been less restrained in their life. And we see that in the glory of what Babette does. You know, what I liked about this movie was, unlike most plot-driven Hollywood films in which you go from, from climax to climax, from character to character, from confrontation to confrontation, this is a whole story. Mm -hmm. This story is two hours long. It's the story of some people, and we learn about them, and we see them, and I was fascinated at every moment in the same way that one would be fascinated by listening to a good storyteller because you don't know how the story is going to turn I'll out. You, one thing they would have done in Hollywood is they would have started with Babette as a chef in Paris. You know that they yeah, would have done yeah. that. They would have started with a cooking uh -huh. sequence mm -hmm. and then tailed it away. This film does surprise you at the end. Coming up next, there's a new video version out of the 1931 classic Frankenstein movie. It contains some previously deleted scenes. We'll look at the new scenes next. <laughs>